This is Nitin Dahad with the Times. I'm on the OCP uh, 2024 show floor and talking to Vivek Raghunathan, who's a founder and CEO of Xscape uh, Photonics. Vivek, hello. Hi, Nitin. How are you? I'm fine. So uh, I'm talking to you. Uh, you've just announced today uh, a large funding round, Series A, $44 million. Um, and uh, that's quite a large one. You've come out of stealth. Uh, tell me a little bit about... Uh, uh, the company and what, you, uh, what your background is, because I think it's an interesting, very rapid uh, advance. Yeah, um, the company Escape Photonics came out of work done by three of the most prominent uh, professors from Columbia University, uh, Professor Alex Gata, Professor Karen Bergman, and Professor Mihal Lipson. Uh, between the three of them, um, they had identified this problem of uh, Escape bandwidth, that is critical in terms of scaling AI performance within data center. And I got uh, introduced to them when I was um, personally working on integrated optic solutions at Broadcom. Yes. And I believed uh, the solution that they had was the right approach in terms of solving the critical bottleneck that our customers were facing. Um, so for me, it was a no-brainer decision to like jump ship and uh, join them as one of the co-founders. So, for this, so this was incorporated in January 2023. There's been work obviously going on before that. You joined then. Um, so and, and you've just come out of stealth. But tell me, uh, before we go into, what, what does escape bandwidth uh, mean specifically? Uh, because I think it's, it's about uh, how much you can do on-chip and off-chip. Yeah. Um, so today, when you uh, think about how GPUs communicate with one another within a package uh, versus uh, how they communicate off the package when you are building large size of clusters, there is a huge mismatch uh, at the rate at which they communicate. Uh, for instance, um, uh, a GPU to memory communication within the same package happens uh, almost 200x higher than the rate at which it communicates when it gets off to a cluster when you're connecting all of them using copper and optical cables. Mm. And this bandwidth that escapes out of the GPU and connects to a cluster is what is called escape bandwidth. Okay, hence you named your company Escape. And so what exactly are you doing? Uh, because uh, Escape Photonics, you're using uh, basically silicon photonics uh, to enable that much, much faster um, communication, but that effect effectively uh, overcomes that escape bandwidth problem. Yeah, so the vision is uh, really to try and match uh, the rate of communication within the package to the rate of communication of the package so that the data centers uh, behave as one giant GPU, right? Um, and uh, what we realized was the only way to do that is to uh, generate a lot of colors borrow the concept that the telecom industry has already deployed, where you can encode um, multiple wavelength colors, and you can encode data on each of them, and get maximum bandwidth on a, onto a single fiber. Mm. Um, that's not being done at the moment? That's not been done at the moment beyond certain four wavelengths within the data center. Okay. And the reason for that is scalability, cost, and other technological challenges around implementation of that. And, and what kind of uh, communication speeds are you getting uh, with this you know, uh, multiplexing of, of those four or, or multiple uh, light signals? Um, theoretically, we can match the in-package bandwidth uh, uh, to the escape bandwidth. So we are talking about almost a terabyte on a single fiber. It's what this technology is capable of delivering as it scales to multiple colors. And what's your secret source? I mean, you're, you're actually on the specific... Um, ability to manufacture the light generate uh, the, the the light source at scale is yeah. that right yeah so um, today if you uh, look at uh, traditional data center transceivers and how industrials uh, traditionally deployed multicolor transceivers what you notice here is like um, you typically have multiple lasers that generate multiple wavelengths and mm. they buy each one of them so if they have to generate four wavelengths they have to buy four lasers. And uh, that starts hitting a cost and uh, density wall immediately. It doesn't scale. Mm. The secret sauce that we have is we have figured out how to just buy one laser 
and we have a secret sauce in our silicon photonic platform which is essentially an 8 inch cmos wafer mm. technology on which um, we can take that laser input mm. and generate hundreds of colors um with this approach the number of components that you would need goes down drastically and the wavelength scaling and the bandwidth scaling associated with that becomes extremely cost efficient and power optimized okay and so have you had some success already um we've uh, been able to demonstrate this technology from two different commercial foundries and we have shown that the technology feasibility works and now we are at a stage where we are actively engaged with multiple customers and uh, uh, trying to accelerate the product development out of this technology now you have investors who include nvidia and cisco um i guess they will be um strategic in that respect as well because uh, there's an interest for that but also at the same time uh, extrapolating this can this be done on blackwell um the vision is uh, to enable bandwidth scaling within gpu clusters like that of blackwell to a level where the gpu utilization goes up yeah. and most importantly um as the data centers are growing in size the power delivery is becoming a huge bottleneck yeah and uh, anything that provides efficiency improvement at for a given power envelope within a data center is highly valuable mm. and um, our solution enables that okay yeah, so. a very good answer a very yeah. very diplomatic answer yeah. uh, so um 44 million what are you going to do with it i mean how many people are you now you're going to scale that and then you're going to do some more uh, sort of scaling of the manufacturing i guess yeah uh, so currently we are 24 full time employees yeah. within the company and uh, the uh, the plan is to accelerate the development of that and grow the team to roughly 40 to 50 okay by uh, end of next year um that would help us to get to a a workable product and prototype and get to uh, an initial customer LOI and uh, initial revenue that would then uh, ramp up uh, as we go for the future funding interesting uh, so well uh, vivek thank you very much thank you thanks a lot